Roy Walker here. I just want to show you in this short video how I recorded and implemented uh, a dialogue system for all the different enemies that you might encounter in the game. For the purpose of the demo, I've muted all the ambience and vehicles and all those kinds of things so we can hear Hammer and we can hear his enemies. So the first thing to notice is they say some things when they're running He's over here. and different things when they're standing about to shoot you. Stay where you are. Who the hell is this guy? This way. The things that they say and the frequency are determined Don't by a random probability system in F mod. So that's how the suits sound. Later in the game, we have some more deadly enemies, which are SWAT teams. Because they're SWAT teams, you hear them more through a megaphone. The most challenging enemies you can meet, other than the bosses, are the army or military. They're down here. So first of all, uh, in the original Hammer, there was no dialogue at all. There was just the sounds of them getting shot or dying. Uh, I decided to add some dialogue to give this game uh, more character and more comic value. So how did I go about creating this dialogue system? The first thing is I met up with my good friend Paul Drolle, who is a very talented voice artist, uh, and we discussed our ongoing strategy. I decided to divide the dialogue script, if you like, into the three main enemy types. So here we have the suits, here we have the SWAT team, here we have the army. And I decided to divide their dialogue lines into those that are suitable to run with their shooting animation and those that run with their running animation. I devised a bunch of lines and also encouraged Paul to be experimental and to say things that came naturally to him or things that he might think of and we recorded the session in Pro Tools. Here in Pro Tools, you can see that we have hundreds of lines up here uh, for, in this case, the suits. And uh, Down here we have uh, the SWAT team, and over here we have the army. The idea is they're in decreasing numbers because, of course, you meet the suits a lot more often in the game, so you're more likely to hear their dialogue. At the top here, we can see the individual lines. So this is all of the takes that Paul did for the line don't move. And below it, we'll see the ones that I selected for use in the actual game. So in this case, we have uh, one, two, three, four different don't move options. The same system applied for the army and the suits. And I just use stripped silence to separate the files and rename in order to uh, export the files with nice new names into FMOD. Once in FMOD, we see here that within dialogue, I have the enemy types divided again. So within suits here, for instance, I have the suits running event and the suits shooting event. Inside the suits running, what we'll see here is one big multi-sound with all of the lines inside it. However, if we drop this menu down, we'll see that these um, dialogue lines here actually each have their own referenced event sound. So if we go and have a look at one of those, we'll see here we have five different versions of follow me. Come on, follow me, follow me, follow me. Come on, follow me, come on, follow me. There we go. And the reason I've done it this way is I want to have variation in the follow me's, but I don't want it to be possible for follow me to occur immediately after a previous follow me. So what I have in the suits running event, the master event, if you like, or parent event, in here we have the follow me event. So there's a chance that follow me will get chosen by random out of this list. And if so, then it will randomly choose one of the five follow me's in here. But there's no possibility due to the randomization system in FMOD that you would hear follow me and follow me again. If we go to the suit shooting event here, we have much the same idea. Something like who is this guy only happens 5% of the time. I've played with the uh, playing percentages a little. And if we go and have a look, who is this guy? There are three different versions of that. Who the hell is this guy? 
Who is this guy? There you go. Uh, the parent events will have on them a probability, in this case, 60%. If we go and have a look at the army, we'll notice that the percentage of play is lower. The idea being that the army are more professional and they don't talk as much, or they're not as funny. The SWAT teams sound like they have a megaphone. Stay where you are. Just to differentiate them, because that's still Paul Drolley's voice. And the army guys have slightly different sounds. In addition to that, at a later date, I decided to add some dialogue for the armoured enemies. These are the ones that you only meet occasionally. They normally fight on their own, and they have a huge minigun. Now, somewhat inspired by the sound design for the heavies in a game called Team Fortress 2, which is a similarly sort of slightly comic uh, action game, the heavies have a really thick, uh, deep Russian accent. So in this instance, I recorded my own voice and added some dialogue lines like this. Fight like big man! Uh, and with some pitch shifting and other processing, I was able to uh, make it sound less like my voice. Here I come! So they're, they should be a lot scarier. Finally, when it got to level 10, you meet the boss, who's called Katie. She's the only female enemy in the whole game. Uh, and she taunts you for that time before you um, run into the sort of boss zone. And we decided to give her a Scouser accent. So this is my girlfriend saying Katie's lines. Is that all you've got? And lots of cackling. <laughs> There we go. So let's have a look in Unity at how I managed to get this dialogue system working. So here we have the main enemy suit, uh, whereas they have different, of course, animations when they die or are blown away. I'm working, of course, with just the standing and shooting and the running towards me animations. So here is the suit firing his weapon. That's the suit shooting event that we had in FMOD. And there you'll see it on loop. If we go down and have a look at the events here, then you'll notice I've added this event. And what this event does is it calls the suit FX script, uh, a function called sound effects suit shoot, which will simply call the FMOD event. So every time they're shooting, this will happen. However, because of the probability in FMOD, and also because of the cooldown time, if we go and have a look at the dialogue suits one of these events. So we have 60% probability, but we also have down here a cooldown time of almost four seconds. So you'll only ever hear a sound, a dialogue line four seconds after another one, and there's only a 60% chance of that happening. The probability gets lower again as the arm as the enemies get stronger. In Unity, the same goes for all of the other enemies. We could have a look here at Katie, and here is her taunt animation. And if we have a look at the events, we'll see here an event in that list which calls Katie SFX, a very similar system there. So let's hear how Katie sounds in the game. So Katie is in there on top of that box. You can hear her taunting me already. And she won't actually start fighting me until I walk inside that arena. Hey! Look over here! She is about to kill me. Take that. Game over. That all you've got? And that's how I created the dialogue system in my version of Hammer 2. <laughs>